click the subscribe button right here. Hi, I'm Anusha Ansari, private space explorer, engineer, and entrepreneur. I'm here at Ask an Expert, the show that will take your questions from the Twitterverse about the topics that we cover here at SU. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Our first question is from Tracy Follows. Will you recreate what you discover in space as a virtual reality experience, allowing people to explore space while still on Earth? Actually, that's a great idea because I know that even though many people want to go to space, some of them won't get a chance or maybe just physically they won't qualify because of the training and everything involved. So I think virtual reality is the best way to give them a taste of space. And I know watching movies myself like Interstellar or Gravity, I felt like I was there. I was sitting at this IMAX theater with huge screens around me and it just brought back so many great memories. So I think virtual reality would be perfect way, especially, you know, you can put the goggles on and just feel like you're out there, you know, flying around. And uh, if we could recreate somehow the sensation of, you know, floating freely in space that would be the ultimate experience one of the best things about being in space is to be able to look at our beautiful planet from space and uh, seeing earth uh, with your own eyes is such a unique experience I had the pleasure and the wonderful fortune to be able to do it and it just changes your life you know when you look at earth you see this really beautiful globe as the only place we have in this dark background of the universe it has made me very humble at the same time because i saw earth and it looked so small it made me feel empowered because i thought like i can do anything this is just a small world and it has made me look at the world as just one place that's my home planet instead of thinking about all the lines we draw to divide us apart into countries and cities and all sorts of things. Now I just look at it and I see Earth and whatever project I do is for my home planet. And I, I hope that more people will, will be able to see it that way and do things uh, in that regard. Okay, next one. Okay, let's see what we have here. It's a question from Zach Parson. Is the premise of interstellar anywhere close to feasible? Should we send ex oh, should we send expeditions to populate other planets? Well, um, I think some parts of it uh, is feasible. I think uh, traveling to far, far places is feasible. I don't know how feasible it is for us to actually go to event horizon and through black holes and all those things. That's a little, you know, far-fetched, I think. Being able to uh, find ways to, uh, for us to survive as a human being traveling long, long distances in space is important. We don't have a good way to do it. Probably the way they showed interstellar is the best way to sort of put us in a, you know, sort of a um, cryo, cryo sleep type of a chamber. Uh, and then we wake up when we get to the destination. Um, but uh, we'll see, we'll see how technology evolves. Well, about the one-way trip to space, I can tell you that uh, I personally was ready to take a one-way trip to space. I mean, the destination is such a great destination to me. It was like telling me, I'll give you a one-way ticket to Hawaii. Would you go? Of course I would go. Who doesn't want to go to Hawaii? So for me, it was uh, that type of an experience, being able to go to space and live in space. You know, even if it's, uh, it means forever, whatever that forever means for you individually, uh, I, I, I would love to do that. I would love to go and live in space and, um, you know, somehow transmit my experiences back even if I don't come back myself to tell everyone about it. Okay, let's see. What is our last question here? So our uh, next question is from Quentin Neal. Would you rather be in space right now? Of course. I mean, where else would you want to be? Space is the best place that you can 
imagine being and being there really really is such a unique experience that can't be put into words into movies even into i think virtual reality even though i said virtual reality is a great way to you know transfer that experience to others but being in space nothing can replace it so i would love to be there right now thank you for watching ask an expert and check back next week for new episode don't forget to click here and subscribe. Oh, I hear another bird coming. Oh, look! This one is ready to go to space. It even has its space helmet on. Do you want to come with me next time I go up there? I'll take you with me.